the automotive world is moving along two different lines of thought. One side tries to squeeze the last drops of potential from mechanics. The other trims the drivetrain and lets software determine the experience. In that context, Toyota introduces a new generation of engines that aim to be lighter, more efficient, and fuel-flexible, ready to plug into today's service infrastructure without disrupting driver habits. On the other side, Tesla is shaping Model 2 as an electric platform that is simple in hardware and rich in room for software. The key piece is a carbon-wrapped motor designed for high power density, precise control, and easy standardization for large-scale production. So, with Tesla, the goal is to try to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport. Um, I think it would happen anyway, just out of necessity. Today, we will find out what practical advantages Toyota's new engine offers in markets that are gradually shifting to electric. How do the carbon-wrapped motor and Tesla's Model 2 architecture cut cost and speed updates? Which path makes more sense for the next 5 to 10 years, pushing the mechanical frontier or centering the electric drive so software sets the pace? Boys, how Toyota's new engine technology is redefining automotive performance and efficiency. How Toyota's new engine technology is redefining automotive performance and efficiency. In the evolving landscape of automotive engineering, Toyota's latest engine technology represents a calculated approach to powertrain development that goes beyond conventional electric vehicle strategies. By partnering with Subaru and Mazda, the company has engineered a next-generation internal combustion engine, ICE, that addresses critical performance and environmental challenges. The core innovation lies in dimensional optimization. Toyota has achieved a 10 to 20% reduction in engine size by dramatically shortening piston stroke, a critical engineering parameter. For context, a typical modern compact car engine might measure around 1.5 to 2 liters, with this new design potentially reducing that to approximately 1.2 to 1.6 liters while maintaining equivalent or superior power output. This compact design translates directly into vehicle aerodynamics. A lower engine profile can reduce drag coefficient by up to 0.05, potentially improving fuel efficiency by 3 to 5% at highway speeds. Thermal efficiency represents another significant breakthrough. Current high-performance ICE engines typically convert about 35 to 40 percent of fuel energy into mechanical power. Toyota's new technology targets an impressive 45 to 50 percent thermal efficiency, particularly when integrated with hybrid systems. To put this into perspective, a standard 2 liters engine producing 160 horsepower might see a potential power increase to 180 to 190 horsepower with the same fuel consumption or maintain 160 horsepower with a 10 to 15 percent reduction in fuel usage. The multi-fuel capability is particularly noteworthy. Unlike traditional hydrogen vehicles relying on complex fuel cell technologies, Toyota's direct hydrogen combustion approach offers a more straightforward engineering solution. In motorsport testing with the GR Corolla, this technology demonstrated remarkable adaptability. A standard hydrogen combustion engine might achieve 120 to 150 horsepower, comparable to traditional gasoline engines, but with near zero carbon emissions. The engine is engineered to meet upcoming Euro 7 emission standards expected in 2027. These standards will likely require a 55 to 60 percent reduction in real-world nitrogen oxide emissions compared to current regulations. Toyota's design positions them ahead of potential regulatory challenges, with estimated compliance costs significantly lower than a complete electric vehicle platform redesign. Fuel versatility adds another layer of technological sophistication. The engine can seamlessly operate on traditional gasoline, synthetic fuels, biodiesel, and hydrogen. This flexibility is crucial in a global market with diverse energy infrastructures. A vehicle equipped with this technology could potentially reduce life cycle carbon emissions by 20 to 30 percent compared to current generation vehicles, depending on fuel source and region. If you had to choose your next car today, would you stick with a fuel-efficient gas or hybrid car for convenience? Comment 1 if that's your pick. Or would you go all in on an EV because it's the future? Comment 2 if that's the way forward. Let us know your reason in the comments. And hey, we're pushing hard to hit 55,555 subscribers. Don't let us grind out these videos for nothing. Hit that subscribe button and be part of the Atom Tech community before you miss out on the next big Tesla breakthrough. How can Tesla's carbon wrap motor redefine the future of electric propulsion? 
The carbon wrapping technique allows for unprecedented rotor stability at extreme rotational speeds, with motors capable of reaching up to 20,000 revolutions per minute, a figure that dwarfs conventional electric motor performance by nearly 50%. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a fundamental reimagining of electric motor architecture. Performance metrics tell a compelling story of technological superiority. The carbon wrap motor in the Model S Plaid delivers acceleration that defies traditional automotive physics, propelling the two times vehicle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mind-bending 1.99 seconds. This performance is achieved through a sophisticated tri-motor configuration that strategically distributes power one motor optimized for efficiency and two high-performance motors dedicated to maximum acceleration. The result is a powertrain that generates up to 1,020 horsepower, a figure that places it in the hypercar performance bracket. The manufacturing process itself represents a technological breakthrough. Tesla developed a specialized winding machine at its German facility, formerly Groman Engineering, capable of applying carbon fiber with microscopic precision. The challenge was immense, creating a consistent high-tension carbon sleeve that could withstand extreme centrifugal forces while maintaining dimensional stability across temperature variations. Traditional manufacturing techniques simply couldn't achieve the required tolerances, forcing Tesla to essentially reinvent motor production technology. What sets this motor apart is its holistic engineering approach. The carbon sleeve doesn't just improve performance, it fundamentally alters thermal management and structural integrity. By maintaining the rotor in a constant state of compression, Tesla has solved multiple traditional electric motor limitations. The differential thermal expansion between carbon fiber and copper is carefully engineered ensuring optimal performance across diverse operating conditions, from Arctic chill to desert heat. It solves one of the biggest headaches in EVs, the trade-off between power and range. Normally, the harder you drive, the faster your battery dies. But this motor changes that equation. Now you get both brutal speed and smart efficiency. Tesla is giving you both and delivering it at scale. Thanks to the new design, simplified engineering and lower material needs, the cost to build each unit has dropped significantly. Whether Tesla passes those savings to customers or keeps the margin, the advantage is theirs. When you push this far ahead, rivals don't just fall behind, they fall apart. Let's see how the competition handled the hit. Knocking out the competition. Tesla's competition is falling behind and fast. Not long ago, the EV race looked tight. Big name automakers like Ford, GM, Toyota and Volkswagen were pouring in billions. Startups like Lucid and Rivian promised bold innovation. Chinese giant BYD dominated sales. For a while, it seemed like Tesla's lead might not last. Then came the carbon wrap motor and everything changed. Legacy automakers still build EVs on platforms originally designed for gasoline engines. That makes their EVs heavier, less efficient and more expensive to produce. Their factories were built for gas-powered cars, not EVs, and they rely heavily on suppliers for batteries and key parts. Tesla doesn't. Every Tesla is designed from the ground up to be electric. 